Hello everybody, my name of course is Cashy Cans, and welcome back to a brand new Crunker video and finally I have returned to the trading videos. I know they have been insanely anticipated and I hope I can do many more of these very soon but today we have a humongous, humongous tale of the stonks that I have made since the beginning of season 5. I'm going to be going over all the unobtainable trades that I've been making and how I have managed to get my hands on almost every single unobtainable and i'm even going to tell you what one i'll be going for next so you're going to want to watch till the very very end a like and subscription is appreciated maybe one day if this video does really well crunker will blow up and be a, as big as fortnite we can only pray boys but today we have to talk about season five and what has happened to trading well first off we have seen an absolute madness in inflation of prices I think one of the best investments I have ever made in Crunker history is these right here. So during season four, I stacked up on dies. And I'm going to be completely honest. I let them sit here for a while because I didn't trade much during my ban on Twitch. And I came back and all of them doubled or tripled in value. I got all these Crimsons for like 20k. Same with the Lavenders. Terror I paid like 16k for. Every single one of these Cokers I paid 11k for and they are now... 20,000 KR each. These Dusties I paid 14 to 16K for, and they're now worth 25. So, mate, dies have gone wacko mode. My theory to why this has happened is because so many new players have flooded back into trading because of Season 5, and they all want to get some drip going, and everyone in the game needs a die. Don't, I don't care what class you play. It doesn't matter what guns you like. Everybody wants a die. That's why they've all shot up. Not only that, though, we have also seen almost every single item in the game go up in price from the older seasons now this is i don't um, I, I, I don't know and then the new skins that have come out with season five have actually held their value pretty well because of the inflation so the prices still stay the same because the kr value is worth less hopefully you're sticking with me all right guys have gone up so inflation is going crazy all of this is happening in the market what can you do to make stonks <music> What I am doing right now is buying up older, older items. Demanded ones. I've traded long enough in this game to know what people want. Rainbow SMGs. Exxon Vot. All of the dies that we talked about earlier. Relic knives. Like, these ones are just so good, man. But Kashi, can't afford it. I can't afford those items. Well, let me show you what you get. Legendary faces from season four and below. Those are always nice options. Deagles, great option. But most of all, I'd be keeping my eye on the legendary Karambit items. I didn't even know I had six dragon claws. They've been sitting here for like two seasons now. All of these I probably paid like 3k for. They've doubled in price. I mean, just look, just look at this graph. Prices are going crazy. Try and snag yourself some good items. Make sure they're demanded. Make sure they're useful. Make sure people want them because if not, it could drop. One more thing I want to talk about. You need to know that you need to be watching out for boosted items. People are going to be trying to shill you stupidly overpriced items that have been bought from alt accounts or bought by their friends. So a really good example of this is the Hawker RPG. Now, this is a very extreme example, but it got bought out for 55,000 KR. Ooh. Barry B's had a haircut. Nice. Yeah. Okay, anyway, Hawker RPG. It got bought out for 55,000 KR. Don't get caught out by these kind of weird boosted items because this can happen with anything. Relics can get boosted. Contrabands can get boosted. Blues can get boosted. Watch out for that. Now, what you came for, let me tell you how I made over 1 million KR since the start of this season. So at the very beginning of season five, we saw five new spinnable unups added. Eternal Frost, Keeper of the Deep, Assault Drone, Deep Space, and Mysterious Orb. What this means is every single one of these items was getting unboxed less. So as like 10 unobs were unboxed, there was like two of each unob, which made it extremely difficult to trade for these items at the very beginning of the season. When I was able to snag myself one, I was absolutely ecstatic. Ladies and gentlemen, I was able to snag myself a mysterious orb. Here was the trade. Yes! I got the orb! Thank you, bro! Enjoy the enjoy the moon feathers. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go dude. That is some stonks right there. I, I, I know it's the moon feather. I know. You've seen the video. I know you have. 
I know, I gave Moonfeather, but trust me, this was a really good trade, and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. So we paid Moonfeather, which is roughly... 450k on top of that i added on top of that i added 340k which in total means i paid 790k for a mysterious orb at the time there were only like four or five of them i think this was being valued at like uh one mil like 800k to one mil so i paid pretty fair for the mysterious orb but then i was able to go and do this so I had been messaging back and forth via the trade system, this guy named Bruh. He wanted my RGB for his Eternal Frost. I sent him a trade back and I said, RGB is not for trade, but this is better. And I sent him Mysterious Orb and roughly 150k ads in Contras and he <laughs> accepted the trade. I still cannot believe I done this to this day. I was absolutely ecstatic. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the result of what happens when you go out of there and you reach out to every single unop unboxer in the game. I would send trades to every single player. I don't care if you're a pro player, trader, new unboxer. I would just send a trade and not even think about it. And sometimes when I finally get a response, things like this happen. People clown on me every single day for offering stupid amounts for items. But at the end of the day, when I'm making all this KR, they're the ones that should be in the circus. So yes, I was able to flip it for this. I held my mysterious orb for so long and I got offered antimatter for it. And I remember I was I was banned off Twitch. I wasn't really trading that much. And my Discord went crazy telling me to accept it. I said no. I was like, I'm getting more for this thing. Because I, I think the guy wanted me to add a lot anyway and it just wasn't worth it. So for me to get an Eternal Frost, which at the time of uh, trading was valued at 1.8 million. Now, what happened after this? Oh my God, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just going to show you the clip. How'd I get the Eternal? Oh my god, he accepted the trade! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god! The Eternal! The Eternal! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, on my birthday! On my f***ing birthday! Yes! Let's go! Eternal Frost, baby! Yes, that was ridiculous. It's absolutely stupid. Do we... I don't even need... Do I even need to explain? I mean, what do I even say about this trade? The guy wanted a knife, a sniper, and a deagle. Does he still have it? No. Do I still have my drone? Yes. Why? Because I paid 150k for it, and it looks like this. Like, bro, I literally paid 150k for a pet item. Cross map. Okay, he wants a sniper, a deagle, and a knife for his assault drone. Is he going to accept? Yes, he is! Yes! I got the drone! Yes! Yes! I have a pet. I have a pet. I have a pet. Oh, my. All right. And finally, the biggest trade that I done that secured all of the profit. So the difference with this trade was... It was sent to me. This was an offer. My Eternal Frost and my Voice Lighter for a Yarg Fast. Now, ladies and gentlemen, earlier on the day that I got sent this trade, I saw that Eternal Frost had traded for about 1.3 million, 1.4 million ish KR. Remember, I paid Mysterious Orb and 150k. Void Slicer, I paid roughly 140k for like a few months ago, and it's now valued at like 280k. That is ridiculously boosted. Don't pay any more than like 220 for it. So this guy obviously thought he was getting a fucking amazing deal. He thought he was getting 1.8 plus like 300k. So he sent the trade and I accepted it almost instantly. I done it. I took it. Now I have a Yag Force now. Now, I was on an insane, like, 18-hour stream at the time, so I wasn't overly, overly super energetic when I got this thing. But, oh my god, was I happy with it. Because I just secured the bag. Like, yeah, you can get the new items for super, super, super cheap, but then if you don't flip them and they all drop in price, where, where have you made stonks? You don't actually make stonks until you flip the item. And Yardfast is like 1.8 million. It hasn't been able... You, you can't unbox it anymore. Like, you haven't been able to for seasons and seasons. It's just going to keep going up in my eyes. So, Yardfast is where I'm at. This is how the inventory is looking. It's looking juicy, tasty, and succulent. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching until the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, help that YouTube algorithm. 
Thank you. Shout out to G Fuel for sending me so much of this beautiful stuff. Please, please, please go and support G Fuel by clicking the link in the description. Use code Cashy at checkout. Thank you so much for watching. Watch another video right here. And peace out.